All right, guys. Um, so today we are taking the Int Spirit Sword Trunks into the Legendary Yoku Vent. Um, now this first rotation is going to be by far the worst he looks in this video, and it's not going to be close. Um, for two reasons: one, he doesn't have the Super Saiyan Link active; two, somehow the most orbs we can get here is three. He changes orbs. That's just extremely unlucky. Um, and I'm also just bad at the game because this is the second rotation. I could have probably set up orbs better than I did, but whatever. Here's defense. It's only 64k. And he has type disadvantage. He's actually going to get hit pretty hard here, I think. Uh, 10k, that's actually pretty bad. I mean, this is the first stage. Uh, but that's also the lowest his defense is going to be throughout this whole video for sure. And same with his attack. Because, I mean, up until this point, um, I think I'm releasing these out of order. But I have already recorded the Super Battle Road video, as well as his showcase video. Um, and that was, I think, the first time when I didn't get him 7 orbs. And we got, like, less than half of that. So, I think I just got very unlucky there. Um, so, we are past the base form stage. So, pretty much just like I do in all of these videos. I just want to go through every single stage. See how much he's taking. See how much he's doing. But with a nuker unit like this, it's not as consistent as it is with, like, I don't know, another unit. I guess it's not consistent with defense raising units either, though. Now that I think about it, because they could, like, double super or something. Um... Yeah, next turn, we're also not going to have any orbs. I guess we'll have some blue orbs, but we're not going to have any purple orbs, which is actually very surprising how few red and purple orbs there have been this far. Just getting unlucky, but that, you know, this can happen sometimes. Because, I mean, in the first video where we're just showing him off, it's pretty much just, like, all highlights. I mean, sometimes there are lowlights for units like this, where it's like, you just get unlucky with orbs, and there's nothing you can really do about it. Because, I mean, this rotation, I'm not sure what else I really could have done differently if I wanted to get everyone a super attack and I mean I did because I mean I guess future Gohan didn't really need a super attack but him raising his defense for one turn it guarantees he's not going to take too much from the back end where like right now he doesn't have his full defense active you know or damage reduction is what I meant because his defense is just depending on your HP whereas his damage reduction is by how many times he showed up on the battlefield okay so here yeah just uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. One thing I did forget already, which is very surprising and bad um, that I forgot this already. Um, because from this point forward, he is a Realm of Gods category enemy. Uh, Trunks will be changing red key spheres to purple key spheres, and then a type other than purple or red to rainbow. So, I mean, in this fight, Trunks will never struggle for orbs ever again. I actually forgot about that. So he's actually not going to be that bad here. I didn't check his defense, but he's taking double digits, which is pretty good. 2.5 million attack stat, and he's going to be super effective. Okay, that first rotation was pretty bad, but, I mean, as soon as you get past that, he's never going to have type disadvantage again, and he's going to be changing so many orbs. So if you get past the first stage, which it's almost hard to lose in the first stage, even if he got supered, I mean, he's, I think he's going to be showing out for the rest of this video, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, this sucks. Um, I guess we'll put... Trunks in the front slot there, because I need to keep Goku Black on rotation so that he can build up his defense before, like, you know, we get super late into the event and it's too late, but even with type advantage here, you would take some damage in the front slot just because his defense is so low to start off with. If in Goku Black just had, like, 50% defense at the start of turn, he would be so much better, because it would, like, I'm not sure exactly how it would work, to be honest with you, but I'm pretty sure with that, with his greatly stacking defense... It would make his greatly stacking defense actually go a little bit faster. So, I mean, obviously that's what we would have liked for them to do. But the way it is, like, when they released him, I don't understand what they did, to be honest. Because, like, everyone summoned because it was a transforming Goku Black, right? Even I on Global summoned. Like, and remember, that was six months after his original banner came out. So the hype had pretty much died down. Everyone knew that he was a pretty underwhelming unit before he transformed. Because, like, turn one, he has no defense... And 40% attack. That's what he has turn one. And I mean, when he gets hit, he gets a chance to crit, but like, it's not a good chance to crit, really. So, it was pretty much just the hype of his character that let him exist in this game. Alright, so once again, we got a good amount of warps here. 3, 6, 8. Okay, so checking his defense here. Um, one thing I did forget to mention, though, is, I mean, considering he's an easy A unit, all of his stats are pretty underwhelming. I mean, his HP is fine. And his defense is actually fine too. Pretty much just his attack for an easy A Dokkan Fest unit is actually very low. Um, it might be the lowest one, actually. Like, of the rainbowed ones, obviously. Because I don't have all of them rainbowed, but I'd say I have most of them rainbowed. 
but I mean that's that's pretty low. But 100k defense. Uh, one thing we do need to keep in mind is that on this team he's only on a double 130% defense lead, which means he's going to be taking a little bit more damage once we get deeper into the event than he would on like a Vegeta's family team, where he would be getting a cumulative like 80% more um, defense. But on this team, like I don't know, the Future Saga team just feels like it's much better for this event than like the Vegeta's family team does, you know? So I did decide to go with this team. I think we can probably finish off Super Saiyan 3 Goku this turn. Oh yeah, especially since we're transforming throws. Once he transforms, he's good. Uh, 150% attack, he's still greatly raising defense. Uh, he has a 50% chance to crit. Uh, Zamasu, I don't really know why I brought Zamasu to be honest. There really was no reason at all. Like, his damage reduction isn't great, <laughs> first of all. Um, and then like obviously second of all, like, he's just kind of worse than Insamasu here. Because he just gets the 40% damage reduction, whereas Insamasu gets 60% attack and defense, as well as the damage reduction. Well, I guess this Zamasu gets more attack, but the other Zamasu gets more defense. And, I mean, for this event, for floaters, you really just want defensive units. That's going to do nothing. Yeah, we're definitely going to finish off Super Saiyan 3 Goku here. Um, and then we'll go... Ugh, if I could speak. Uh, and then we're going against God Goku who will be the last time we'll we have type advantage here with his trunks. Uh, okay, so how the orbs looking? Pretty good. We can get all of those. That's a good amount of orbs. He is at 129,000 defense. I mean, could be a little bit better, but I mean, this rage trunks, more so than any other unit in the game, I notice his defensive stat really fluctuating. 3 million attack stat with no support and no one else changing orbs is insanely good. Um, but the Rage Trunks, more so than like any other unit in the game I've ever realized, like his defensive stat really does change a lot depending on what your defensive leader skill is. And I haven't really noticed that with any other unit in the game. Also, I probably haven't been paying as much attention with a lot of other units, but I would like to blame the Trunks and not myself, because that's how I am. <laughs> um, yeah, we're actually going to finish this off next turn as well. So we don't, we actually haven't needed to, to cut yet, which is pretty nice. I don't like to cut too much in these videos because I, I like to show a lot of rotations with the unit we're trying to show off. But also, I don't want the videos to be too terribly long. Uh, we'll put Rose in the front slot here because I don't want Trunks to finish this off and then Rose doesn't get a stack here. Rose getting stacks is much more important than Trunks getting stacks. And I think next time we see Future Gone, he will have his full damage reduction. I'm not sure about that though. This is still probably going to hurt a little bit, even with type advantage. He j She just hasn't supered much. I don't know why I said she. When I say Rose, I think female. <laughs> even though... <laughs> We're not going to talk about it anymore. He. Rose is a he. I'm stupid. Whatever. Okay, so Trunks is going to finish this off here. And then next rotation, we got Blue Goku. I think Blue Goku, depending on how many orbs we get, I think it's probably going to be the last time we take double-digit damage. Probably, at least. I mean, unless we get just, like, the full field against STR and EY Goku. Okay, so here... Ooh, that's actually... That's a good amount of orbs. Uh, so... I mean, I think that's about the same. Let's check the defense here. Yeah, we're gonna get the Joker mode here, and, I mean... His defense is pretty good. I think we're gonna take double digits. But the Joker mode is gonna do, like, an insane amount of damage. Okay, we are taking double digits. Um, and because we have the token mode, I don't think we need to cut again. I think we'll only need to cut once in this video, and that's to get from S tier UI Goku to N UI Goku, because that will still take a long time. Especially considering the only AGL unit we brought was Zamasu. This went so slow, I missed it. That's upsetting. <laughs> like, when it goes too fast, it's whatever, but when it goes too slow, it's, for some reason, much more upsetting. Uh, so 3.5 million attack stats, super effective against all types. I mean, obviously, a crit would still do more damage, but... Okay, no, just super effective against all types. Ooh, but the double super, 3.6 million. Um, now, when you put him in the front slot, the little extra buff that he does does come into play. The 30% for one turn, super class allies. So, like, here, he did give this Trunks probably a significant amount of extra attack. Okay. So, Zamasu is just kind of here. 1.2 million attack stat, and he's going to get smacked up. Uh, I think he's probably going to get supered, right? We got a double super here, but my Zamasu is 55%, so we can't crit. So, he's really just kind of wasting our time. How much HP do we have? Are we going to die? Zamasu is going to take a lot of damage. 46,000 from normals. What the heck? 
Okay, whatever. That's besides the point. Um, once again, we're going to put Rose in the front slot. My gosh, Rose is not stacking up his defense. This team is moving much faster through this event than I was thinking it would, to be honest. Uh, that's why no one's stacking up their defense that quickly. But, I mean, if you're going through the event very quickly like this, I guess a unit like the Int Trunks isn't that bad. Because most of the time for this event, you really just want to kind of take your time and bring defensive stacking units. But if you go through it fast, I mean, if you just have a unit who, like, right out the jump has, like, 130,000 defense on average, that's definitely not bad. Alright, so S tier UI Goku, this is the huge jump. And, let's see if we get lucky here. Okay, so, that's a good amount of orbs, but I think we're still going to take damage here. Let me see. Yeah, 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 we definitely are. Um, obviously, I'm not going to use an item, because that just goes against the full purpose of this video. But... How much are we going to take? 20,000 damage. And that's why I think he should greatly raise defense for one turn after, like, he supers. I feel like they could have realistically done that. Just, like, get rid of the buff that he gives to super class allies for one turn. And just change that, like, he greatly lowers enemy's defense and greatly raises his own defense. Boom. Done. That's how you make this card just a little bit better. Because, I mean, 120,000 defense, it's okay, but in this event, it's not good enough. And Bandai knew that. Because if he greatly raised defense, he would have 180k defense. Which is enough to take double digits against an UI Goku from normals. But, I mean, obviously, if we're taking damage from STR UI Goku, that's not great. Um, I'm going to do this. Yeah, we're, we're going to do this because I don't trust Rose. Even though Trunks really doesn't have much defense here either. Do I have any one-turn defensive items? No, I don't. There's a small chance we die here. Um, yeah, because I don't, Rose isn't going to take double digits, and Trunks is going to take a lot of damage from a super, because we've been inconsistently supering with both by trying to prioritize Rose. Um, I want to get one more rotation against STR UI Goku with this Trunks, and then after that I think I'm going to cut. This is going to hurt. We probably have like 250,000 defense, 158k is fine. We could die next turn. We really could. Hmm. See, I wish I didn't bring just exclusively two-turn defensive items, because I would have liked to go into next turn, full HP, and then we just don't use an item next turn and just see how much Trunks takes, because I'd like to see him get hit by a super, because it would do a lot of damage. It would smack us up pretty bad. Okay, if Big Bad Boss is active here, which means that, okay, does nothing. <laughs> I was going to say that'll do a little bit of damage, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so here... Let's see what his defense is. is it higher, lower, same. It's a little bit higher. Just a little bit higher. Um, we're actually probably going to die here if I don't use an item. Hmm. You know, whatever. We'll see what he takes with a Princess Snake active. Um, after this turn, I think we are just going to cut to in Ui Goku, though. Um, we actually went through this event pretty fast. We're like 13 minutes in, and we're about to get to in Ui Goku. Okay. And then, I mean, 1.8 million damage is nothing to, like, scoff at. I've never used that word before. Um, especially against STR UI Goku. Okay, so, now we're just gonna cut over to Int UI Goku, see how much he takes there with no items active. We probably are gonna die the first turn we're there. Uh, but, you know, just, it's for science, right? Um, we will be back in a second. Okay, so you know what? We probably actually didn't cut there, because I didn't realize how much damage Physical Vegito Blue was going to do here. Um, so we don't need to cut it off. We're actually just going to finish this off this turn, and we're just going to get one turn first with... who? Uh, yeah, this rotation is good enough defensively that we don't need an item. Nice. Uh, so just one turn here, and then next rotation. Ooh. Dang it, I can't save all the orbs I want to. I want to save all the red and purple orbs, but I can't do that. Huh. I can do this, though. I can do that. And then... I think I ruined that. Yeah, I really think I messed that up pretty bad. <laughs> okay, we're still going to get a lot of orbs with Trunks, but just not as many as I thought we were going to get. Um, but either way, we don't have to worry about Future Gohan here. I don't think we die here no matter what, really. Especially if Future Gohan gets supered, which is really what I hope happens. 
Because, I mean, we have over 500,000 HP. So, what I really hope happens is I hope UI Goku doesn't super this turn, and we get to see, like, uh, Rage Trunks take one normal and one super. Because I think, okay, well, Gohan's getting supered here. Which, I mean, I'm not sure if that's double digits, but he does have type advantage with 50% damage reduction, so... Yeah, 58k is not much at all. And at this point, Trunks is taking double digits from normals. I don't think Rose is, though. Maybe if it was double supers here, he might. But without it, I don't think he is. Okay, 1.86. I really like this animation, by the way. This is still one of my favorite animations in the game. Crit? No, okay, that's fine, though. He is taking double digits. Okay. Rose did finally build up a little bit more. Okay, so here... Uh, this is probably going to be the last turn of the fight. Okay, so... I mean, that's a whole lot of orbs. That did just fully heal us. 145k. This is the highest defensive stat we've seen all video. I'll tell you right now, it's not good enough to take double digits, though. So we got a whole lot of orbs. 8,000 damage, though, is actually not bad with a 3.45 million attack stat. I mean, yeah, Trunks is definitely not bad here. He's also definitely not great, but he's definitely usable. Like, 8,000 damage, and I mean, that's with no support, that's with no one really helping him, right? This is just him here, you know? And if you'd have ran him on Vegeta's family, and he got that exact same amount of orbs, he would actually be taking double-digit damage here, which is actually very impressive. And his attack would be, like, the same, because they both have 170% attack leads. So, overall, Trunks is pretty good here. It's mostly due to the fact that... After the first stage, you're always facing a Realm of Gods category enemy. So, he's always got that little extra orb changing with the Rainbow Key Spheres. Um, which really does put him over the edge of, oh, did I die? I have 984 HP left. <laughs> okay, that was that was crazy. Um, I mean, we saw everything we needed to see, to be honest. Um, I think we're going to call this video. Rage Trunks. I'm not going to say, like, he's A1 for this event or anything, because he's definitely not, right? But, like, if you don't have any better options, he's actually, like, definitely usable here. Um, so if you guys did enjoy this video, please consider to leave a like, a comment, subscribe to the channel. My name is Husband Blah, and I'll see you next time.